Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, today I just started doing a video on an error that I came across. Um, actually, it's, it was a bit of a, a pain when I came across that error, but I just managed to figure out a way to sort it out. So, anyway, so I thought of sharing that error with you guys, and you might come across as well because it's something that is uh, it's a normal error, I guess. Um, it's to do with copying files from USB or an SD card to your laptop or any other thing and it came up with this error saying that um, this is the error error 0x87045d um, saying that the request could not be performed because of an IO device error Anyway, I, I didn't know what that error was, but um, but I managed to figure out a way to copy my files. Um, there were some video files I wanted to copy uh, from my SD card. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you now how to do that. But first of all, um, just, to, just before you make any um, alterations in your system, you need to... Um, make sure you can copy those files in a safe mode so safe mode is booting your or starting up your computer on a safe mode um, and trying to copy those same files um, to your laptop and or desktop or whatever so if if you were able to successfully um, copy the files which means it's basically to do with um, a third party application that you've installed and it's not letting you um, it's coming up with that error let, not letting you copy those files so the solution is first trying to um, copy in a safe mode and if it does copy so this is a solution for those who don't know how to um, boot or start up your computer on a safe mode um, you can click on the link that's just coming up in the screen right now or I'll find the link in the description area uh, once you finish watching this video. Um, so uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I did it. Uh, first you need to go click on start and on the search area you need to type msconfig.exe and then select that. So I'm just gonna type that for you so it's gonna make it easier. So gonna type that in the search area on the start menu and it'll come up with the screen with this when you hit enter. So it's a system configuration. Usually it's when when you come when you do that you it'll be on a normal startup, right? So that's how it's going to be, but I've done the changes and it's in a selective startup. When it, all you need to do is click on selective startup, untick load startup system items, you know the load startup items, you've got to untick it and then go back to the tab services, then tick hide all Microsoft services, you know tick this and then click on the disable all. So now you can see all all these services have been disabled and what you need to do is just need you need to um, you need to press apply and say okay so now once you say okay it's gonna prompt you for a restart you have to do the restart for your computer to start up on a clean boot so once it's in a clean boot you can try copying your files and actually if it should actually copy all the files successfully once in once it's in a clean boot. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart now. So let's restart. So there you go guys, um, uh, the windows is back. So now, now let's start copying the files. Um, I'm gonna open the um, SD card. 
um, then look at the files so these are some of those files that I need to copy what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut actually cut those and paste uh, paste them uh, just paste them on um, anywhere you want what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste them on the desktop so once uh, once all these um, files have been copied you actually need to um, put your computer or laptop back to the state it was in the configuration area so I'm gonna go through that in a while as soon as this being as soon as the copying is done so you can see everything has been copied without any problem this time there was no error so actually then that was a secret of the, um, uh, doing the getting getting those files copied so uh, now what we're looking for is we need to put the computer back to normal state so what we need to do is we need to go back again to the same thing which is msconfig dot exe and then open the system configurations so as you can see, see you're still here that's why it's letting you copy all those files now we need you to switch back to what this you need to switch back to normal startup and in the services area it's already there is no text here everything has been enabled um, so got no problems so put all you need to do is just um, click on startup selection and the startup selection normal startup and then apply once you hit apply and okay it's gonna ask you to restart your machine again which means now uh, you are in a clean boot now you're gonna go back to the normal boot and you'll be able to operate as normally so right um thanks thank you so much guys for watching my video i hope you guys um were able to benefit out of my video if you guys have any any questions or anything pertaining to this you can uh, you can leave your questions in the comment section and i will be i'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible and thanks for watching guys Cheers.